Hi there, I'm Daniel Seberg with IO Live, and we are in the Nexus Lounge of Androidville, and we're going to be talking about a number of different devices and services that are all tied to your content, how you get it, where you can view it on different devices, plus, we're going to give you a look at the Q right now, which is super cool. It just got delivered here to I.O. in a very dramatic fashion. I'm joined now by Justin. Justin, introduce yourself for the folks, first of all. Hi there. My name is Justin. I'm a software engineer on Nexus Q, and I work on both the software on the Android device that controls it, as well as the software on the Q itself. All right. Well, we were all blown away by how it got delivered, but, but perhaps even more so, the technology that's in there and how people can use it is, is relevant to folks out there. We can see it behind us. It's hooked up to the device that you've got here, which is the Nexus 7. That's right. So give us a little spin here. If you want to share your content, let's just imagine this is our living room. Great. And you want to share that with folks. How would you do that with music, first of all? Great. So I'm here in the music app. And uh, looking at the Nexus Q, and I'm looking at what song's coming up, and I decided, you know what, we should play something else. So I can come back here, and I see all of the songs that are in my Google Play Music sure, Library. Sure, turn that if you can, just a little bit to, for folks to see. You've got a list of all your songs there. Right, and so I can just select one and say, add to Media Room, which okay. is the name of our Nexus Q, and it'll play up next. But let's say that we're impatient. We want to play it right away. Well, I can just go down there, find it in our Q, and hit, hit and you can see that we start playing it right away. That's very cool. Well, what's even cooler yes. is that if you had your Android device hooked up and you had the Nexus Q app, and you could go through your music library, you could find your own tracks, and you could add it to my Q as well. And so we could be listening to both of our music at the same time. So it's sharing that experience together. Sharing that experience, right. You've got, just got to download a new album and you want to tell me about the best track on it, you can just show it to me right away. That's very cool. Now, if it, now music's one thing, which is obviously great for a social environment. Video, so if it was, say, a YouTube clip, it do the same thing? Yep, so in YouTube, uh, I think there's a new video today that I really want to see and I really want to show you. So let's just search for uh, Google Nexus, and we've got the introducing Nexus 7, which also got introduced today. We just tap on our Android Beam icon up here, and then hit play, and you can see that we'll be showing each other hilarious uh -huh. cat videos and product <laughs> videos. Not more cat videos. Not more cat videos. <laughs> And all the content that you can get on YouTube, you can just share it with anybody who wants to see it here. Exactly. Okay. And you can share it, I can share it. And moving on from YouTube, we can actually do the same thing with the new Google Play Movies content. So that's movies that you've purchased, movies that you've rented, or TV shows. And you can share that all on the big screen with everybody who's watching. All right, let's talk a little bit about the Q itself, the device. Sure. Who makes it? You know, what are some of the cool specs you can share with us on it? So Google makes it, and this is a really exciting because it's the first piece of consumer hardware that Google designed in-house and is manufacturing. So the Google Q or the Nexus Q has an OMAP4 processor inside, which is the same chip that's inside the Galaxy Nexus. And so you can imagine with all that power we can deliver 1080p video to the best screen and speakers in the house. The Nexus Q is also hooked up for just being a music device if you'd like. You can hook it up using a spit of optical audio out, or it also has a 25 watt digital amplifier that you can connect directly to speakers and uh, just spread Q all over the house. So there's fact, a lot of power packed into that relatively small device. Exactly, and they work well with each other as well. So if you have multiple Nexus Qs in your house, they will play music all synced up at the same time. And that's, I guess, the beauty of it as well, is it's meant to be very seamless. Exactly. I mean, people don't be able to set up a lot of things and find out how to integrate it. Out of the box, it's working for you. Exactly. Nexus Q is meant to live in your home. It's meant to be unobtrusive when you don't want it there, but when you want it there, it can really put on a good light show. All right. Anything else you wanted to show us with the 7 while we've got it here? Uh, you know, I think one of my friends might be able to help us. Okay. Well, as a matter of fact, we're going to talk about play first. Okay. So, Justin, thank you so much, by the way. Very that was welcome. fantastic, and we'll just let this play. Are we safe to let this video keep playing? Should we put some music on? Oh, let's put some music let's on. Put just some music back some, on. Some sort of mood music to set the scene here. All right, back to our playlist, and let's just go right back up here, and uh, we'll just uh, go right Ooh, back. Oh, very to cool. Our... Some Rolling Stones. All right. Nice job. All right, Justin. Thank you so much for for dropping by. That's great. Have a good day. And Nicole, come on up here. This is like our guest couch, and you're the next one to talk to us. So you're going to kind of stitch all of this together for us, because play, where people get a lot of this content from, is yeah. what we're going to talk about now. So yeah. how would you describe play to someone who's either unfamiliar with it or maybe wants to know more? So I would describe play as your store for all your entertainment. Um, on play, we feature apps, music, movies, books, and we now feature uh, television shows and magazines. 
Cool. Well, we've got to look at some of the music stuff, and we'll get into that in just a second. But if you want to talk a little bit more about each of these, we're going to call them verticals, different sure. different yeah. content, yeah. multimedia content, yeah. right, that people want to consume. Yeah. Um, do you want to start with talking about apps in particular, maybe? Uh, sure. Uh, so on Google Play, I can just um, open apps right now. Uh, we have over 600,000 apps and games um, and a wide variety of uh, types of apps and games. So users can check their stocks, read their news, or just play a game on their tablet or device. And games, very, very popular yeah. in the apps store, Definitely. right? <laughs> it's one of the big ones. Um, and and in terms of um, multimedia content like music, what's some of the sort of the new features with finding music in the in the yeah. Play Store? Music is um, definitely something we're very excited about. We feature millions of tracks, um, and uh, another really cool feature about music is we um, offer personalization. So we make suggestions based on what you're listening to. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah, I'm a big user of. of Google Play myself, I think I get like yeah. most of my music from there these days, which yeah. is fantastic. And those recommendations, I think, is, is oh, really great. cool. For, yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, so now you, we talked about uh, apps and music. Yeah. How about uh, movies and, and TV shows? Yeah, um, so we offer hundreds of, uh, thousands of movies and TV shows. Um, TV shows is something new for um, Play that we just launched, um, and it allows users to catch up on all their favorite programs like Breaking Bad or Parks and Recreation. Cool, and then finally books, of course. Yeah. Very, very popular. Definitely. Easy to get and yeah. download. Mm -hmm. What's new in the books world? Uh, books. Um, books is actually the largest e-book store um, in the world, um, and we offer a wide variety of genres, so it appeals to everybody. So we offer cookbooks, uh, fiction, uh, biographies. Cool. So maybe you can just hold that up for the camera yeah, so we can definitely. get to see. This is what the whole play interface looks. Definitely. Like. So we maybe I'll hold it up just a little bit higher mm -hmm. for the camera. There you go. Music. Oh, and also magazines, which is uh, something new. Um, and magazines is also something that we try to appeal to everybody. So we have uh, magazines uh, on photography, um, health. Uh, in the area of health, we have Shape and Men's Health um, featured on magazines right now. And just to be clear, folks can get this content on any of the Android devices. I mean, yes. I have a Nexus Galaxy yeah. phone, full disclosure. We have a Nexus 7 here, but that's yeah. part of the beauty of getting this is that you can access it on these different devices and, and share it. You can. Um, you can access um, whatever you purchase on your account as long as the account's on the device. Very cool. All right, yeah. anything else you wanted to mention while we've got you no, here? No, I think we covered it all. Okay. Thank you very much. All right, well, thank you. I'm going to send you to the output couch now. Okay. And our final guest from the, from the input couch, Krithika. How are you? Good. And you have got in your hands something that a lot of folks want to get their hands on. Yeah. This is so the Nexus have 7. I've a bit of a glimpse of it watching the Q demo and the Play demo, but I really like to get into the hardware of this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, introduce yourself to folks so they know who you are. So I'm Krithika Muthukumar, and I'm a product marketing manager on Android, and I've been working on the Nexus 7 and bringing this to you guys. Okay. So power it up for us here. All right. So actually, first I'd like to show you that you can just get into your lap, into your tablet just by using your face. Oh, see, it saw my so, face there, and it got a little concerned. So it saw your face, and it didn't <laughs> recognize you. Let's try mine. And I'm in. Hey, and it worked even with me kind of like yeah. leering over your shoulder there. And right up front is all of my favorite content from Google Play. So this tablet is really made for Google Play from start to finish. And you know, starting with um, the the vibrant seven-inch display and the corning glass that's around us, um, and you can just enjoy your HD movies in, in brilliant clarity here. So actually, let me just jump into one of these movies. I can just get right into play and, and start watching a movie. So it's just that simple. That's very very cool. Now, so the, obviously there's a front-facing camera on there as well, that's of correct. course, which is needed to recognize you. So using the front-facing camera, you can do hangouts. You can chat with your friends and video chat. So that's another part of it. Um, That's it's very, very exciting. Exactly. Ability to do these kind of mobile I hangouts actually, with people. I uh, actually talked with my grandma the other day, who's in Singapore, and she was on her um, cell phone, and I was on my tablet, really? and we had a hangout right there. That's fascinating. And for people who don't know, a hangout is this up to 10 people video chat through Google+. Right. Plus. You can hang out with up to nine of your friends yep. at the same time um, right through Google+. Plus. That's very cool. Um, the other thing that I'd like to show off to you guys uh, is... It's just that it's it's built with Android 4.1 Jelly Bean, which is okay. the latest of the the world's most popular smart uh, mobile platform, mm -hmm. and it's just smooth and fast, and it's got um, some cool fe new features like a new search interface and Google Now, which brings you just the right information that you need without you even having to ask for it. Mm. 
Um, I see Chrome on there as well, of course. Exactly. So Chrome is a browser of choice. So you can browse the web Chrome fast. You can also get any of the other Google mobile apps. It's really the best of Google on your on your tablet and mobile device. Um, have you had a lot of fun playing around with this, by the way? Because you look like you have. I mean, you've got a chance yeah, to actually, see this stuff before a lot of other people. That's so. true. So I've got my demo device here. You guys will see the little number up here. Uh -huh. um, I've had a chance to play with it for the past month and a half or so, and I find myself just enjoying content more. It is really built for all of your entertainment and enjoying it. So I've read a couple of the books that came preloaded on here. I've seen Transformers 3 a couple of times. Uh, yes. And um, actually, I even checked out the Food Network magazine and, okay. and found a good recipe. You were doing research. Recipe you were research. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I understand. Um, and so, give me some of the technical specifications of this, sure. too, for people who are curious. About so, this has got a Tegra 3 quad core processor from NVIDIA. It's also um, it's made by ASUS, one of the um, leading manufacturers of hardware devices. And um, other technical specs that you'd want to know is that. Uh, it's got the 1.2 megapixel front-facing camera, so it, you'll look great when you're video chatting with your friends. It's very, very cool. Anything else you wanted to show us on it while we've got you here in a captive audience? So um, the other part of this experience is, is really for play. Um, and you've seen a, a bit of it, but I think the consumption part of it, not just the store, has also been optimized for this. So as a 7-inch tablet, it's really perfect. It's thin, light, and portable, and it fits in your hand. Um, you can just open up an ebook and immediately start reading it. Um, and the display makes it really easy to read as well. That's very, very cool. Whether it's you're at night or be you're very hiding. Light, right? Books, super light. That is incredibly light. Do you know how, exactly how much that weighs? I don't want to guess. Okay. okay. Um, but you can find the specs at google.com slash nexus. Okay. And availability, price, tell us all about that stuff. It is out. ready to pre order today and it's available in either an 8 gig or a 16 gig version. So. Even though Google Play is made for the cloud and you can store all of your entertainment without needing a hardware, uh, needing the hard drive, um, you can still store a lot of your favorite content and um, keep it when you're not when you're away from your internet connection. Okay. And this, I assume, this all works together. I mean, we've talked about Play, which we've seen, and the Q. I mean, this can already be absolutely. This is a content. Nexus device, right? Yep. So it brings the best of Google um, to your mobile device. That's great. All right. Well, I'm going to bring you two guys back up here for a second since we have a little more time left. Anything else you guys wanted to mention while we've got you here? I mean, I'm just fascinated by all this cool stuff and we're hearing some of the music right now from thanks to Q. Anything else you guys want to throw out there? Yeah, I think the best part is actually playing with a bunch of your friends. Like, the Q is the first social streaming media player, so you can bring your device to the party and just start playing. Right, I think it's great how the products work well together. You know, you've got the tablet when you're using your personal consumption, and then when you want to share with other people, that's what Q's for. And there's all that content in play whenever you want exactly. it. Exactly, so you can share your content. Um, if you Again, if you bring your device to a party, you can go back and forth between who selects the music. So I think it's a, it's a really uh, great way to integrate all the products. Yeah, one thing I, I did want to mention is that it's also fun to play games on this. It's got a gyroscope and accelerometer, so it's got all of the things you'd want to really dive in and use that entertainment. Cool, and then you could have that experience potentially on the big screen? Can't say for now. Okay, <laughs> that's all right, that's fine. Well, thank you to each of you. Maybe just uh, say your name again so everybody knows who you were. Yep. I'm Kritika. Nicole. I'm Justin. All right, we're, this is our little party here, and we're going to keep hanging out. Thank you so much for joining us. That's Play. The Q and the Nexus 7. Check them all out. Stay tuned for lots more here on IO Live.